John Morant, season over. Mm. Uh, due to a labrum tear. I hate to hear it. I know you about to probably go in, but I hate to hear it, man. This guy is one of the best players in the NBA. I don't uh, want to get out of the take. I, all, I, all time, you know, all time talent. He's the modern day Derrick Rose, and you know what I'm saying. But he typically, till this point, has stayed healthy. You know, this is this is a bad sign, though, for a bigger reason to me because these explosive cats, and obviously this is a lay room, so you know it's his shoulder, but still, these explosive cats they they, they move so aggressively when in their movements that, that sometimes you know injuries are just liable to happen. You know, and I don't I, I didn't see the play of, of how this happened or or if he got his arm got pulled back or whatever the case may be, but I just, I don't know. Like I, I, my experience, once you get an injury, you start to get injured. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, once you had that first major injury, it just like trickle trickles down. Your body's never the same. And I, I hope that's not the case for him. I hope he just a quick little boom. He comes back. Um, but a guy that, you know, been through some adversity, create, obviously self, you know, created, he, he created his own adversity, but nevertheless, he went through it, came back this year, had Memphis, you know, rolling and actually playing well, and looking like they might fight for it to get back in the playoffs, and then boom, this happens. So, uh, you know, like you said, karma is a real thing, and and sometimes, and I am a big believer that everything happens for a reason, and sometimes you gotta you gotta be set down a little bit to just kind of, you know, whether it's refocus uh, or humble hey, yourself, whatever you, the case may be. So, you a God believer, you believe in God, and 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 and, and you a you a true faith, walk by faith, not by sight type mm-hmm. of guy. I am too. I'm a, I walk by faith, not by sight. If this isn't a true test to what happens to people that he may be testing, if you're a God believer, God fearing man, we all supposed to go through trials, tribulations, and tests. We're supposed mm-hmm. to get tested. If this isn't a test of all tests, because now we're going to see the cat off again and how he spends his time. Is going to be highly, highly scrutinized and highly watched. And this is going to be, does he come back from this without doing some foolish off-the-court act? Because everyone's expected it, Smitty. You know everyone's waiting for his demise, his fall. Oh, he's going to go out and go on IG Live and blah, blah, blah. Listen, I don't ever wish on anyone's downfall. I never wish on anyone to fall or fail or get hurt or injured. Karma is a real thing. I do believe that. I, I'm a victim of karma myself, and I and I have no one to blame but me. W- whether it's true or not, we'll never know. But at the end of the day, um, the test is going to come now. For yeah. the, the test is coming now, and if the kid can get through this test and come back. But it's bigger than this, and this is this is where – I know you say two things could be true and all that. Um, this is where I I hate the structure. So the NBA gets guaranteed contracts. The NFL does not. You can argue about the game and the and the and the and the, and the you know the severity of the injuries, possibilities, the, the, the NFL, risk factor. The risk factor. You you risk death. NBA is probably really a lot lower unless you dunk, fall off the rim, break your neck, which a buddy of mine did. Mm. Which is which is you know when you when you when you dunk and you swing so hard you slip. Yeah, Ooh. I had a guy fall, buddy. I fell, snapped his shit on the court. Um, Damn. Luckily, he survived and walked again. So, but here's the thing: the NFL has no guarantee, but yet we've seen horrible contracts with. Whether the Deshaun Watson thing is real or not, nobody will know. But it's a bad contract as of right now. Regardless, it's a bad contract. Even if the thing, even even if it wasn't didn't happen, the contract itself is bad. Yeah. So we'll agree. The, the agreement that we have is it's a bad contract. Yeah, Two thirty guaranteed. <laughs> Tyler Murray, in my opinion, is a bad contract. Russell Wilson, in my opinion, is a bad contract. Carson Wentz got a was a bad contract. Derek Carr is a bad contract. Mm. There's a, a ton of bad contracts. Basketball's had a million of them. And what I don't understand is why. So to your point, two things can be true. We defend John, the people out there that want to see it succeed and all that. I get it. I see Twitter. I see all that. But who defends the organizations that get fucked 
when they pay all this money, can't really manipulate the, the, the roster any further because my guy that I'm paying the face of my, my organization never plays. How is that on – How am, I want to know why that's not being defended as your statement of two things can be true all the time. Two things can be true. The NBA and the NFL need to also get a get-out-of-free-jail-free card because my other players are struggling and my roster is going to struggle and my coach is now getting fired, let's just be honest, because we don't make the playoffs, because we make horrible contracts for guys that are never, ever playing. And you mentioned he's, he's always been healthy and shit, but healthy to me means play. He's been – he hasn't played in really a year and a half. And either has Zion Williamson, either has uh, guys in the NFL that we just mentioned, and we're paying them. White, black, brown, green, I don't give a fuck what color you are. Miss me with your bullshit. The bottom line is the organizations that we say need to pay these cats also need to understand that this is a bad contract. We need to be able to get out of it so we can get a roster that's better or we're losing coaches. And if you were coaching Smitty, you would be one of the things that because you know your family's risk at line. You're going to get fired. Your family's not getting fed. These cats are getting fed regardless, and they're not even performing. They're not even playing, and they're not even filling the stands. So what is the give or take on this thing? Like something has to be given or give, give because I, I just think it's making it worse and worse and worse for cats to even fake an injury and sit out. We don't know if he's truly hurt or hurt, and guess what? We're still paying him. I just think there's some things that are being allowed that's going to make it harder and harder and harder to watch these certain sports in the future. And I'm glad Kawhi Leonard's playing this year. I really am. I'm glad he's actually said, fuck it. I'm, he's I'm balling, actually too. Yeah, he's balling. Top five player in the NBA. He's balling right now. Uh, I'm glad he's balling. Uh, Lakers beat him again. I don't know. I, I didn't even know. Uh I don't know. I just, that's. I, I, no, that's you went on a whole rant. I mean, I, I guess from a bigger. I guess from a bigger storyline, I feel you. I don't think Ja fits in the narrative of what you're saying. Uh, like I said, this is his real, his first major injury. You know, obviously you couple that, good. you couple that with the suspension, whatever. I, I, I got you. Like late, late, know, no, 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 lately, he ha lately he hasn't played a lot lately. But it's, I mean, well, the you what's the difference between him and Zion? It's a weight. Both, like, both missed two years. Both missed same games. What's I, the I don't. They missed the same games? Well, a year and a half straight. No, I don't think they missed the same game. Zion has missed a lot of games. Like, Zion will miss, like, entirety of, like, not entirety, but, like, damn, damn their full seasons. Like, I mean, remember last year, Pelicans were a number one seed in the first half of the year, and then they went and they ended up, I think, fighting for a playoff spot towards the end of the year because he, he ended up missing the whole thing. The, the Memphis uh, Grizzlies were, were one of the top seeds in the playoffs just last year. Last couple of years, they've been like a, a, a formidable foe in the playoffs, and that's because of Ja Morant the last couple of years. So that's why I can't compare the two because Ja has been leading his team to a high level of success in a very competitive Western Conference uh, playoffs and in Western Conference uh, period where Zion has, has yet to do that. Zion has yet to be there when it matters the most and, and play in a playoff game and, and be that leader and get him to the playoff game. So – I can't compare Zion to Ja at all right now. Now, does Ja need to clean up the off the court stuff? Yeah, we we could talk about that. So we're blue in the face, um, and we've we've already discussed that. But this is the first major injury from that particular standpoint that Ja ha has faced. And again, with sports injuries happen. So if I'm an organization and I'm paying a player, I mean, common sense. Like if you play the sport, you're going to get injured. Like if I'm the owner organization, like dude, there's no way I'm signing this contract. Like oh, this guy ain't gonna never get hurt. Like, that don't even make sense. No, I'm not saying that. Everybody gets hurt. Like, compiled and the and the and the and the and the compiled yeah. and the guy keeps showing me certain things. Yeah. And he's prone to this off the field in issue. He's prone to injury. He's prone to anything else. And misses games for us. He's not playing for our organization. There has to be some type of clause in there where, to me, it's like, dog, it doesn't make sense. Like, it doesn't. I get it. They're one of one, right? They're one of one humans. They made it to the NBA or the NFL or whatever. Shout out to them for being one of one. But no other profession in the world 
can you miss this amount of shit and get paid for doing absolutely nothing? Eventually, your sick pay is over. Your bereavement's over. Your vacation's over. You are now getting fired if you keep missing. And that goes to any any level. Now, I get there one of one. I know what you're going to say. No, nah, I, I think it's the same in the league, though. Like, for example, let's say Zion just keeps doing this. He just, he playing, he picks and chooses when he wants to play. Hey, Zion he 990K play. a night if he plays or don't. Yeah, that's right now, though. That's like right now. That's the current. That's the current situation he's in now. I'm saying, if this cat continues to show up out of shape, continues to miss game because of injuries, continue to you know underperform, his next deal won't be what it is now. He will lose money. He he'll still be in the league, but he'll be paid like a role player. He'll be paid like a guy's average cat. So you do the the league do they, they do. Take money. It just it takes time though. They, they give you a chance. Maybe they give you too many chances to your to your opinion, to your take. Maybe you feel like as soon as they show you who they are, believe them and move on and move the money and cut it and do that. Here's the thing: Zion's played missed more games than he's played, eighty six to eighty five. Ja has missed sixty six games. Um, both drafted same class. For me though, it's not even about. So if one, that's twenty games, which is a lot. First of all, but number two, more importantly. What are the games that Ja is playing in? Like, Ja is in the playoffs competing against the Golden State Warriors and, like, taking them to game sixes and ten games. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Ja is there. You always talk about the playoffs, the playoffs. When we talk about NFL, the playoffs, the playoffs. Ja has changed that franchise around and has made them a contender. So that's why Ja is the whole – I don't think you could put them in the same category right now because Zion ain't – and listen, I, and I was a Zion guy. He ain't did shit for the Pelicans. Let's keep it all the way 1,000. John ja Morant, when Ja don't when Ja don't play, the Memphis is trash. They were literally they're like a a tenth. I mean, somebody correct me in the chat. I think they're like a they were like a tenth seed or eleventh seed or something while Ja was out. Ja shows up, they start to win. Like he's that great. So I I, I just don't I don't see how we're even comparing these two cats. Well. The, the, the way I compare them is because at the end of the day, the result, which is a results-oriented business we're in, they both miss. They both miss a shitload of games. So that's just the bottom line. Regardless, injury off the field, court issue, whatever, they're missing games, a lot of them. It's not like Jaws missed three games and Zion. It, regard, they, they're missing games. I don't care how they miss. Like if you're coaching them, Smitty, or you're, working, you're a CEO and we got this – show cracking and we're hiring some guys and you hired two guys to 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 do your pr for a publicist or whatever and the motherfucker just not doing it and showing up like and you're paying them still when are you like all right you ain't doing my shit you ain't yeah, I mean, you ain't getting my results you're not getting the results i hired you for when are you gonna? You're not gonna keep paying this motherfucker. Like, at, you are, at, at, at some point, but like, are you saying we're at that point with John Moran right now? John Moran right now, I right, stop paying him. Because look, I'll say this: what one motherfucker won't do, another one will. What one team won't do, another team will. Try that if you want to, Memphis. Try, try, try to take them off the contract uh, or find stipulation not- and watch all the other NBA teams foam at the mouth. To get John Brown on eighteen and pay for him, right? Memphis. It's not good business. I'm not saying Memphis. I'm saying the leagues need to put in place something because not you shouldn't put it just on the team. When he did the first gun charge thing, they the <laughs> commissioner was like, "Uh, Memphis, you got to make a decision. Why should Memphis make the decision? So now the head coach is the bad guy to suspend the dude. When really, hey man, this is a league policy, dog." You fucked up. You know this is the league. It's just like steroids. It's like drugs. It's like domestic violence. The league is coming down on you. They did it. They told Memphis to suspend them. So the head coach of Memphis had to suspend them the first time. It's player empowerment, and we keep extending the chain, the rope, the leash, the the whatever you want to call it. Bad acronym, but I know what you mean. We keep extending. The this the hand this yeah. opportunities just just keep giving your chances the grace, yeah the grace yeah. and mercy of it all and I'm like that please I want grace and mercy I fucked up I fuck up Smitty you fuck up we yeah. all want grace and mercy but at some point I can't get fucked either 
I got to be the guy to say, I need a re I need a return on my investment. But they're not getting fucked, JB. These billionaires ain't worried about that little hundred million they're giving this dude. These motherfuckers rich as hell. But they're all getting fucked. They rich as hell. they're not a playoff team, and that's what they're playing for. I'm telling right. you. I guess they're getting fucked this year. I, I, again, you're talking more broader. Yeah. I, I'm focused. I know what led to this was the John Morant. So that's why my my mind. That's why I'm talking about Memphis. But I know you're talking on a broader. But that's why. I, that's here. why I said not just. It's yeah. Not just yeah, God, yeah, yeah. It's the whole thing. I mean, but there's a lot of players. I mean, AD. You know, Kawhi, that's Paul George. You know, league. Joel Embiid. Wow. It's a professional problem. It's not just a team to team thing. It should be. Adam Silver should say, this is what we got to do in the next collective bargaining agreement or whatever. Yeah. If certain games are missed. The, the player's not going to agree to that, either. though. Either, either, that, that, either, either pay the salary. All right. Keep paying them the salary. But that salary becomes null and void towards my roster cap. Because if not, I mean, it's to me, it's unfair to the organization, the owner, the manager. But what do you do? So what do you do? You say, you say, okay, if like you have to play X amount of games. Season? Are you saying? Oh, that's what they did. Are you? Are, are, you, did. are you saying you can't get hurt? You can't get injured? No. Are you like? Well, like, what's the stipulation? Because like, that's not. If I'm I a player, I, if I'm a player, I'm not agreeing to that shit. You telling me my money is dependent upon if I like don't get hurt? That's crazy. I'm going to get hurt. I mean, that's, that's that's no, that's no, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That, well, like, I'm, I'm not saying I have the answer. Even in regular right. jobs, what we get was it hazardous pay or whatever the fucking shit, whatever the shit is called. I go through some stuff. They still pay me. Like that runs out. And we're talking. You're, you're comparing a fifty thousand dollar hazard job to two. I know. I'm just saying. You you always like to compare. Like every. I'm saying even at the everyday job, if some shit goes down, uh, I, yeah. I'll still get paid. So I'm saying if I play an actual athletic out, sport, maybe. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm, I need to get paid while I'm, while I'm there. Your, your 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 vacation time will run out at Fox, right? Yeah, at some point. This this money don't run out, homie. These cats are being paid guaranteed. I mean, once you once you have again, it's it's a it's a con like it's a it's a it's contract though. It's different. My my everyday job. I when I signed at Fox, I didn't sign a talent contract. I didn't sign. Hey, we are with you for three years for this amount of money. No, I signed an employment. I'm just I ain't apply. I'm an employee, employer. So like, there's no commitment there. A regular everyday job is more so like the NFL. There's no it's non guaranteed. They could literally fire me today. And be like, and, and not even have a reason, but hey, you know, money tight. We're gonna go ahead and, you know, hey, we'll pay you, you work at that. the pleasure of the president. That's what it is. That's but at sports ain't like that. We are we are business partners, basically. That's how you gotta look at it. The organization, the player are business partners. It's not really employee, employer, partners. Either. It's partners, yeah. So I'm That's on a, I'm, I'm on exactly. a four I'm on a four year fucked. contract. I can't be the only one who gets fucked. That's not a partnership, homie. I'm just telling you. The player's getting fucked too, though. Sense. Like, you think a player don't want to be on a fucking court? You think a player wants to look, tear their ACL and tear their Achilles and have to go? Look, that not, that, that shit that. sucks. I've been through I'm injuries. Saying. That shit sucks. I don't. I don't. I don't I'm sign not, up for that. I'm not saying that. Like oh. when I hurt my knee at Ball State, did, did Ball State get fucked? Like, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I tore I'm my knee that. up. Like, All that I'm saying sense. is, if it's a reoccurring, continuous issue, and I don't get return on my investment, there needs to be some type of action. That's all I'm saying. I, I, I just, I don't want, why should, so D Jones, and everybody's, you're only, you're pro player. I'm pro real. <laughs> like when you become a grown up D Jones and you have to manage people, you're going to be like, damn, JB was right the whole fucking time. I got to make grown man decisions on this side because uh, guess what? All the rest of the team's affected by one fuck. But you see, you don't know that because you ain't set in this seat. Because all you defend is what you see on the court and the field. All you want to see is the product. Guess what? You're not even seeing the motherfucking product, homie. It ain't even playing. And you're still defending these motherfuckers. That shit is crazy to me.